Good afternoon, you lovely people. It's Jilly Cube from a Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. I'm not actually coming today with a pour. I'm doing um, some spray painting and some glitter. So it's a bit, bit of um, still, it's still a work of art, but it's just a different product. So with my little puppy here. What I'm using today is. Okay, I'm doing a glitter painting. This was one I seen that come up in my feed um, when I was uploading my video, one of my videos, and it was a lady called Sherry Sherry Moulton, I think Sherry Moulton. I will double check that. Um, and she did these lovely glitter paintings. So I'm just trying to replicate it. So what I'm using. These is, is just what I have here that my husband's left hanging around. So I'm just using some spray paint and I will do the spray painting with my respirator mask on because <coughs> I've still got this cough. So I'm going to do that without further ado and then we'll get on to the next stage. So I'll do that first while you're watching me. Uh, that's it. Okay, canvas on my little push bins, spray paint. There you go. I'm going to leave that to dry. So as you see, I've done it in silver. Oh, it needs a little bit more at the back, but you can touch it up as you go. Not, not new problem. If you find it needs another coat after it's dry, then you give it another coat. Okay, I've left it for about half an hour. I probably should leave it longer, but I'm going to just uh, keep going with it. So I've obviously sprayed it silver and it probably could do with another coat. I'm, but I'm, I'm quite liking it as it is because I don't want it looking all solid and perfect. I'm not one for perfect, so um, <laughs> shows in my art, but okay. I'm using the Mod Podge. This is a gloss luster. I'm not sure if it matters either way. Um, I think Sher Sherry, Sherry used the gloss, the Mod Podge and gloss luster. Um, I'm just using this one as my basically glue because it dries um, clear. I will try next time using my Montmartre Clear PVA, but you can get this glue from the online Shabby Chic uh because that's where i had it from so they do sell this glue so i'll see how this goes in this particular um particular piece of art and see how we go from there so i have put the mudge podge onto just a lid of um peanut m m's they're one of my favorites peanut m m's love them love them so i'm going to do my little gluing with this lovely little sponge that again um, I had from the online store so I will just go all the way along with the mudge podgy stuff I think I'm gonna I'd rather put too much on than not enough because it will dry clear Oh, but I've got to think of all the glitter that will stick to this too. So yes, so I have to confess that I'm a bit of a, um, what you call it, a bit of uh, a fan of bling. I think I've told you, yes, I must have been a magpie in a previous life because I do like my bling. So this is just how I'm doing it across here. I suppose you can do it any old way you choose. If you like everything uniform and in line, then 
you go for it that way if not you do it as I'm doing here there and everywhere but of course if you like bling you will love this so, here we go I like it already just with that on it isn't that crazy so I also I know that I've got glitter from my um, people at the Capriol Shabby Chic but do you think I can find it no but I've got to go through my boxes so this is just a glitter shaker I don't know what sort it is I haven't got any special types of glitter so I'm just gonna shake this dark blue on because it's what I have and that's why I did the silver because I thought the silver and blue would look really nice together I'm gonna uh, go out and or order online some more glitters from Capriol Shabby Chic because I know they have all sorts of glitters because I hope to just mix mix it up and do a bit more um, different kind of pieces of art on my channel so then it doesn't get boring to anyone else and it gives me a variety of things to try I'm using this just from the shaker but it probably would be um, quicker to use in my hand just like it when you're using pepper I suppose on a the shaker I would love to load this up with lots of jewels so I'm desperately gonna seek some um, more bling and do maybe a nice big long one for my one of the uh, bedrooms in my room and then uh, I can show you when it's up on the wall hopefully so this is coming out pretty slow it's pretty tedious that so that's not real good I don't know where I had this in a little container so uh, here we go I'm using some silver as well oh that's coming out but I can always pour it onto this plastic I've put the pee pad plastic side up so it can um, resave my glitter again oh that is glittery glitter <laughs> glittery glitter do you I, I just presume that I just leave it on there for a little while to um, glitter oh look at that glittering now one little thing I want to try because this is an experiment I just have a little it's just a little kids shape um, I just want to put the Mod Podge on it put it in the Mod Podge and I just want to see if these shapes work for doing so it's kind of you know put the shape on without me having to do some handy artwork of my own so I've just put the shape on I just want to see if it comes out the actual shape oh gosh that is that is sheeny shiny that is glitter beyond glitter I've got that one in gold too so oh I'm going to do a nice black or navy painting with those so I have to look for my glitters that Capri that I had from Capriol Shabby Chic I've got a lot of stuff to go through to try and find them so I'm not sure if I'll leave that for a little while or I tip it off straight away I'm not sure so I will um I don't know I'll just go for it if I've done it wrong but look at that shine okay Ooh. Ooh. oh I've got more of this silver I should have done it the other way around shouldn't I I should have put the blue on after the last because I wanted the blue to be like the top colour but while it's there I think I think I might add a bit more of the now it's probably I'm probably gonna really stuff this up but I'm gonna go in between those you know it's never too much bling is there now I'm all excited with the I can just see the possibility so thank you Sherry she's a um, I think she's YouTube's uh, creator on the rise so I will put a link to Sherry's page I'm not sure if Sherry's one of our um, members of our Australian acrylic pouring but 
I know I've seen lots of other blingy artists put put bling on YouTube, um, but Sherry just a appealed to me because she was really down to earth and seemed like a lovely lady. So definitely, definitely um, like those kind of people. Oh, I love this already just because it's sheeny, shiny, bling on bling. Now I can put the blue on it. So excited. Oh, got to give this a go, peeps, because it is so much fun. I could do with taking the lid off this for sure. But never mind, never mind. So obviously if you use little shapes as well, they will work. Maybe I'll just, um, I mean, I probably could have done a little bit better while doing the freehand with that particular shape. Oh, I love bling. I love bling. Oh, I love it already. So excited. Thank you, Shelley. Sherry, Sherry. Sorry if I'm saying your name wrong, I will try and get, get it right. Oh. Okay, what I'm going to do is boof. I want blue. I can collect it up afterwards off the plastic sheet, so no worry. Oh, that is sparkly. Oh, that appeals to the inner... Arr. The inner magpie in me. Wow, there you go. I think it could even do with some more, but no. Oh my goodness, that is gorgeous. What do you think, guys? It is sparkling. Look at this. It is sparkling. So, you know where I'll be going tomorrow. I'll be straight out glitter buying or online tonight or both. Oh, I can see some of these coming. Oh my goodness, that is, that's just beautiful. That is stunning. <laughs> so, I am so excited. Oh, so sorry. I am so excited with that. It's so blingy and shiny in real life. I'll try and get the camera down and do a little bit, but there'll be photos on at the end, so let me know what you think and oh god peeps have a go at this it's so much fun i reckon in a great big long one across the top back of a bed would look so lovely and of course you could do a pour as the undercoat under it um i just did it this way because that's how i've seen uh, shelly sherry sherry do it okay thank you so much for joining me until next time there will be a few more of these i should imagine in my future so thank you bye for now can you see the sparkle oh my goodness i have plans now i know the ideas are reeling around my head so quickly love it love it love it very very sparkly i'm not sure if it's showing in this very sparkly very sparkly love it <laughs>